All right, y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? We back. We back. All right. So, this video right here, we about to watch Mississippi Valley State versus Tennessee State. Now, Tennessee State, I had in my top five HBCU teams headed into this year. I saw the score, but I really ain't really watched this game like that, honestly. But I saw the score. You know what I'm saying? So, we are going to watch this game right quick. Um... Yeah, Tennessee State went to work, man. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I'm not going to use this game as a measuring stick of how good Tennessee State really is. I'm really not because, you know, Valley State or whatever. But we are going to watch this game just to see how Valley State and Tennessee State did. I want to see how they look. Arizona, he's experienced. I'm sure how they look. over 600 see. snaps in his career. Ellis. Has a little bit of time. And he's oh, go the deep. first play. Firing it down the field. On the first play, a. Hey. Too strong on that one. Too <laughs> hey. Hey. With your quarterback and your wide receiver. Quarterback is looking down. I like it, though. Hey, I like it. Let them know that you ain't afraid to throw it. I like it. A lot more playing. Oh, he throwing. Oh, they throwing. As here he's able to. They coming out the to gate Johnson, throwing. Who's tossed out of bounds. Actually checked that. Jalal Dean. Ellis, of course, we've seen it. Last couple years, mm, get hit. can both run and pass, and saying that this system plays to his strengths much more. As there you saw Jordan. Let me see. And speaking of. Nice else. though. Okay. That'll be to Davis. Listen, I'm and in the game I said this in right the now, video right? too. Uh, I'm really. Uh, high on. Ellis has I really time. like their offense. It off again. I know that their offense is going to score a lot of points. For the Tigers. My biggest concern that was the defense. They, they can do Because they're near everybody knew on that defense. So it's going to look very different. Are we going. They have one across the middle down to the 30. Are we going, going. Mm, we going. Okay. For the I like it. The first of the year. I like it. So we'll be back with more right after this. Get up. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Got Freeman. Guys that are keeping their quarterback clean. And that's I was just saying, what giving him time. Giving him giving time. Him time. That's, that's what you yeah. You got to give him time. Oh, this is the guy from last year. He wore number 11? That's the handoff. Mm, okay. Big boy. Okay, big boy. Outside, near mid okay, let's get it. Let's get work. Let's go to work then. Brought down. We go to work then, okay? Job by leading his team to a touchdown. Five Listen, receivers out there. I'm always gonna. Valley State. I'm always gonna root for Valley State, man. Kendrick Ross. Listen, because it has some. I know how it is to be in a position. Second out of ten from their own 49. That's the Delta Devils. Little mm. handoff, trying to get it to midfield, but there you see that big defensive line for the Tigers, stepping up. You know, you, you take a look. We had mentioned in the opening. That's the big boys up front. So it'll be a third down and ten, under some pressure. Williams Whoa. under a lot of pressure, and he's going to be brought down. That's not going to work. That ain't going to work. Loss of about nine okay. yards on the play. And that's just great. What the start that we talked about that the Tigers definitely want to have and definitely need. Let me see. Ellis handing off. Nothing going okay. there. Yeah. Ellis. Sending a man in motion. Now mm. keeping himself. Instead, looks to fire over. Good defense all around. As Brian That's good Williams defense. I like it. Okay. The catch, but good defense. The Delta Devils were there with the to send Tennessee State. Be explosive and rotate the run. Both components we've already hit on a little bit, and that is that I like Coach Valley. Partridge. I like it, Valley. Wanting to see I'm always going to root for Valley State, man, because they're always going to be the underdogs in any game they play. Why wouldn't there be, right? As Williams, I'm all gonna root for him. Will quickly hand it off. Mm. And Still him up. There. Still him up. Tigers defense swarming okay. again, and fired up for the big stop. Yeah. Graduate out of Detroit, Michigan. Here Williams, able to look over. That was a dangerous Not throw, boy. Able to complete the pass. Yeah, I mean, and, and I'm with TSU out in front. Williams oh, goes it across the middle. Gain of a few yards there from Nathan Rimbert. 
who's a sophomore out of the Sunshine State. And the one thing we stress is finishing. That's exactly what this team is not doing. That's why they were one and ten. But this year they're stressing on finishing and making plays. Here's Evans over okay. a couple yards. So we're just talking about Coach Wade. There we see the Ohio, Ohio State. The Ohio State. I'm looking at the stadium. Eddie George is pitches up there. It just shows you him barks on making plays. Mm. Oh, man, he's gone. He's gone. He's he gone. Down to the 20, to the 10, and jumping into the end zone with a touchdown is Deshaun Davis. Damn. Man, just an explosive play. And it was just very simple. He just ran a nice, nice little shallow cross. Attention. Look, look how look how comfortable he is in the pocket. He surveys. He throws hey, man, the listen. Ball. Tennessee he's State done. will be tough. And let's go make a house Tennessee call. State is going to be tough, boy. Another explosive <laughs> play, second one up. Get it. Let's see how it goes. I mean, I, I wouldn't call it a penalty, but if he was taunting you hot right now. They called a penalty? They oh, called it forces. back? You're having fun. Yeah. They called a penalty on that? There's Ellis. I my like, yeah, he was open, but dang, they called a penalty. I think they wanted to the just give something to Valley State. State. That's what it is. They wanted to give something to Valley State because they shouldn't have called it back for that. Eddie George Man, they didn't even give him a touchdown. There. That is wild. Has a little bit of time. Dumps it off there Come here. to the middle. Pushing down to about the two-yard line is Johnson. He's been a busy guy <laughs> here early on in this game. Yeah, it is. I mean, the, the, uh, the backfield with him. Ellis Get to quickly him. firing. Oh, good Ellis defense. Going to be knocked away. Good defense. Was looking over there to Jalal Dean. Here you go. Yeah, it remains there. With him as the Tigers look to push this one in. The handoff goes. Mm, to just stop. And the Delta Devils able to get in there. Yeah, just, they just ran an inside zone play, and you had too many guys there. Needs, needs to come to play right here. You got a short corner down at the boundary, and you run a fade. And that's going to go off the fingertips. Wow. Back is Gant and into the end zone. Wow. Great job. Sometimes it's good to be lucky. I mean, he just threw a little flare around to him. Damn. He bats it up and catches it. But though, even though that's not Damn, a Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Stick to itiveness. Yep. Tigers get their second TD. Watch it. Yep. I mean, that's just that's just a great job. I mean, you, sometimes you're lucky. But but just like I said, that was a monster. Hey, but even glory, though they lost, hallelujah. The when, you're, when you're going to get some sour house, it shows you can play with anybody in the country. So now, even though it didn't show last year, it's showing up this year because mm. they're a totally different team. A little bit of space here. Nice stop. Be focused, and they want to make sure they're around the ball. Williams tries to go deep, looking for an answer, and just overthrows his man. Overthrow. As he was looking there for Nathan Remberts. Tigers trying to get the crowd behind him. Williams has some time. Uh -oh. They here. throwing it deep. Oh, Again, had throws. him open too. That was. Oh, Cameron he was Gardner open, man. On the Delta mm. Devils' 49-yard line. He was open. Here's Ellis. Looked. And they throw right. it deep. Now goes left up, and is. Oh, oh, oh y'all throwing it. Y'all trading shot for Cedar shot. I like it. Yeah. Y'all trading shot for shot. Of course, uh, it's the game of college football. Oh my but, God. but even more so with so many new faces in week one. Fighting his way there for a game. Come on, you're having I a like game. the game plan y'all doing. Absolutely. Here the handoff goes to Gant. Gain of a couple of yards. Actually, check that back. That's Evans that is in there. They yeah. called him. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, this come on then. <laughs> okay, come on then. I like it. Let's go, and Valley. Let's go, go Valley. You can't have that. This, yeah. this is on the receiver. You got to get your head around quickly because you think about it is you got Ellis that's getting the blitz. Everybody oh, yeah, Valley. Yes, sir. So I as like a it. Court, as a wide receiver or a tight end, I have to get my head around. And you can see by mm. looking at the, the tight end's face, he didn't get his head around. Well, that, but also didn't he throw a little bit behind him? How yeah. tough is that? In yeah. that he did throw it behind him. It, it was a bad throw either way. Best field position of the day for the Delta Devils. Williams. And you give it right back. Down. Now it's going to be taken away. Going the other way. Off to the races and into the end zone. Valley. You're not going to win no game like that, baby. Come on now. 
That's Y'all not gonna win like many game. games playing like that. Take another look at it. That's just a great job by your defense. In. Watch how he swipes Smith. at the boss. Yeah, he tackle. swiped hey, it. That's George. That's uh, Eric, Eric George. Great job. Eric George. Okay. What I love about the technique that we stress all day long. You swipe. You don't tackle the the the, uh, the quarterback. You swipe and then you let Gabe. So it's something special that's brought mm -hmm. with the Tigers. Here the handoff. Got a gain there of a few yards. Jaden Sisk is in to the game in place a few moments ago. Yeah. High snap, the handoff again on the ground, and not much going there for Zamarian Kindle. Yep, I mean, that's what you do. Whoa. Whoa. Sisk's throw high. That was a yeah, soft also throw. You want to take advantage of that new quarterback out like there? We talked about last year, even though they were one and ten, there's still a team that's not quitting. Come on now. And that says a lot about the coach. Here the handoff and a gain of a couple yards. Not having a clean game. So it'll now be a third down and fourteen. Screen. Sisk oh. almost threw a pick there. You can oh, see there. God. That's where the blitz is coming from. If they're wait, zone, wait, 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 wait. Let me like see what what happened. What happened? Where where was the running back? Who was he throwing it to? Game. Was it running back to tight so end? Now be a third see? down and fourteen. Sisk. Oh. That was a, a bad throw. <laughs> yeah, the tight end that. was definitely waiting on it. It's a bad throw. If they're playing zone blitz. Or What's the pressure though? Cowboy blitz. That cowboy blitz is blitzing with the corner. He's just taking what the offense of the defense is giving him. Ellis here able to complete a pass. Because that's going to be Dean Holland. Survey what's going on in the secondary. If you look at the secondary right now, they're playing like a cover four. And what he does, uh, I think he says that he kind of makes a mistake, but he's still uh, able to out move and out. Play. And yeah, hey, man. This guy. Yeah, but the one thing I love about he does, he Quarterback just Ellis, man. Ellis is pretty good, man. I mean, Ellis is nice. I like Ellis. Delta Devils. I like him. Ellis with the cadence. Now the handoff. We'll go to Rouse, trying to circle his way out of a bit of trouble, unable to do so. Mm. It'll be a pickup of a few yards. He's still a big part of this offense. Glad that he stayed, so that's what you want to do. Ellis. I like it. Find Dean. Pick up and fresh set. Yeah, this this is what covers evil. There's no safety help. He's doing the exact same thing, surveys it, great pass. Ooh, the Charlie nice throw. on that last play, not the one we just saw, but the play. It looked like it, it, he could have picked it. That's just like... Basically seven on seven. Here are the Tigers moving quickly. Ellis now looking to the end zone. Good play, 20. Good play, 20. Going there again. Good we'll play through his hands. I like it. Okay. Hey, he playing ball. 16 yard line. I don't know who 20 is, but he playing ball. Here's Ellis asking for it. Now he's going to take it himself. Mm. Dance, move around a little bit on his feet inside the 10. Down to about the seven yard line before he's brought down. Number 20 over there playing ball. Empty. They're keeping the defense on their heels. A little bit of that eye candy. Yes. Here the handoff. Gain of a few more yards there. This time it's Jaden McGill. There's a lot. First and goal from the Jayden three McGill. yard line. Ellis sends a man in motion. Now hands it off. McGill. Forcing his way forward, still on his feet. No. Nope. Trying to keep it moving. We'll see <laughs> what they give him there. Massive humanity gets up. <laughs> Ellis. Oh, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Tigers saying yes. Hell no, he didn't get it. Delta Devils saying he no. He didn't get it. Hell no, he, he didn't get it. it was fourth down. <laughs> There's Gil lining up there behind Ellis. Handoff. Uh-uh, uh-uh. He didn't get that. Oh, no. Valley State. Okay, Valley. You still fighting. Let's go. Come on. Help make sure that you still fighting. Tigers Come on. able to get into the end zone there. Rouse has checked in. Hey, yo, Valley. There you go. Y'all still in fighting. I like it. You still Ellis fighting. Let's go. looking for Jalen. Yeah. 12 of 15. On field goal attempts. Hey, we'll take that, Valley. So hey, we'll take that. It is good. That's a good start, right? That's a good goal so line stand right there. I like it. To the Tigers, as they have the That's a good job, bro. I like it, bro. In the first half. Their puzzle, big heart and soul piece, good dude and big guy and big player. As the handoff here, mm. short side of the field. 
Gain of a few yards by Kendall. Yeah, I mean, this, I think, and I know this sounds funny, but this is still a crucial part. Handoff here. Good move. Gain of a few more yards and a first down going back to Kendall. And why not? He just had a nice pickup. Go back to the well. Yeah, you want to go back to. You want to get some type of rhythm. Top, less than eight minutes to play here in quarter number two. Williams shuttles it over. And Kendall, unable to field it cleanly, was behind him. And we'll see if the Tigers have it. They're saying they do. Real focus there by Bro, the come Tigers. on, man. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Williams, under some pressure, <coughs> trying to dump it out, almost through <laughs> a pick. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's what you want. I mean, it's... Looking down the field, that's where he's going to go. You just don't Looking care. The home run that's a flag. He go get to him. That's a flag. Mm. Mm. And a lot of breakups. I just love Oh, how nice of him help him out. Here, the handoff again this hit. time. Going nowhere. Let's Kendall. get hit. Man, it just, whew, hey, I just. I love this front four. I mean, when we talk about the hey, front man. four, he's shocked at all if that happens. So a second down and 12. Williams. Completes the pass, small gain there for Carrick Ross. Yeah, that was just a slow development play. I mean, you throw it to him. Nelson in motion. Williams, a little bit of time. He go. It across the middle. There oh, he go, okay. Come on. Down to about the 35 yard line. That's exactly what the scouting report said. He's quick and can change direction and create yards. And that's exactly what we saw on the play before this last one. Yeah, I mean, just a great catch. And the thing about a receiver, he went north and south. And I think you want to hold him to a field goal or not get him, give him any points and get, or give him any you points. score? Here's Williams. He's under mm, some pressure. Ooh, He's going to down. He only got stripped again. The Tigers again. All over him. And the old line Andrew is not holding Booker. up at all. Like the old the line. There, a guy that the coaching staff very high the on. The old line. Oh, oh my go God. Right into one of the Tigers' hands. I'm not even going to blame that one on the quarterback. Out to about midfield before finally being. I'm not even going to blame that one on the quarterback. Trotter. Yeah, I mean, that's the old line. By that defense, they are physical at the point of attack. See, this is where you hey, look at this. experience a quarterback. When you got blitz off the edge, you got to get the ball out quick. And that's just a great job by Brandon Fisher. I mean, he would have got picked Fisher either way because he, he threw he threw it right in coverage. Great job by the defense overall. But look look how fast they got the in there, though. Look how fast he got in there, though. Wide receiver, so you never like, what, uh, they're where's the backside help? Here's Draylon Ellis. He's got some time as he rolls out and completes the pass. He's got, he's got a little bigger so yeah, Make him do like everything, him. dog. There you go. Gained a pound. Gained a pound. <laughs> I think that's one of those things you're thinking. You're thinking you're going to one area. You look down, you're like, oh, yeah. gained a pound. Cool. Yeah. And he's, you know, he's doing what he's supposed to do. Here the Throw handoff. In. Yeah. I mean, like, like, like what we're talking about. Right now. Both in on that one for... TSU, another player that they're okay. strong on, a returning player. Mm. Not much going there for Will it come up, corner? the Tigers. Well, Will it come up? Yeah, look, at he's going to throw it to the wide receiver at the top. I mean, this covers zero. Cover zero. So three to two. Mm, good D. Three good defense. Yeah. Okay. And the handoff will go up a couple of yards. So fourth down and three. Here's Ellis. He's got some time. Oh, guys, mm. looks to pass it. Finds his man. Off to the racers and into oh, nice. the end zone. That is going to be Karate Brinson. Yeah. <laughs> Able to score it and tack on some more. To I mean, look at this play. He, Karate Brinson's come across the line of scrimmage. Okay. Catches the ball, and that's all she wants. Okay. I've been waiting for him to have a breakout game, make some breakout plays. Jump over him. Let's get in the end zone. <laughs> Touchdown. Living up to his name there. You got game. Mm. You, got, you got a lot of players, and it just shows you just get the players the ball in their hand and let those guys make plays. And then, you know, right here we got defenses that are flying around. It just shows you, man, this this team is can make a run in OVC. Hey, okay. You can tell that he's And this something I want to address too. For anybody that's trying to say that can Tennessee stay compete in the Black college football national champions. No, bro. Like, they cannot play in so a celebration bowl no matter how TSU good they are. Here. 
as quarter number Mate, three is underway. I saw that going around on Twitter. Trying to cut it up Somebody asked a question about Tennessee State being like being called 13, that's Ross, black college football be. champs Mountain if they have be a Indian better Indian. season nice. than everybody else. Up there at Lehigh. Like, look, let's not do that, all right? Place. Let's not do that. They don't play in the swag. They don't play. No. <laughs> That is preserved for the team who wins the celebration ball. Like, let's let's stop that. Is that what the way you try to go? Yeah, yeah, you have to because we're not doing that. You just gotta try to figure out to get back into the game because you're down 31. They, you know, listen. They might be ranked number one. Some crazy, crazy games to where you know what I'm saying. Like the big fellow there against amongst HBCU football teams, but in terms of being national champs, you can't play. Like you can't how to Gant. He's got some They only have about three or four HBCUs on, on this schedule. Just, just a yard shy of first down. Yeah, just level again. Now let me see. Let me see what I got. Great job. Look how big he's physical. This game over. We're gonna he let it run, but we're gonna see. That's a nice jump cut. Take your will. That's a nice jump cut. I like it. want to do so. You got this offensive line, you know, with Smith and Meadows and Freeman. There in parts we mentioned how Coach Partridge. Said he wants to see 10 explosive plays. I think they've had three so far, looking for another one there. <laughs> Almost had it. It was just off the Ellis. Dealing with they, hey, they play North Dakota, Dakota State next week. Handoff's going to go to Evans, and not much going there for Evans. You know, C.J. Evans coming in from Austin tackles a year ago. 215 pounds senior. From yeah, Memphis, they only Tennessee. played Here's three Ellis HBCU teams. Deep. And that's going to be broken up. Well, Valley State. He's looking there for Jalal Dean. The Southern Heritage Classic. That has happened. And they play Howard. Portal, the guys How can you be the Black National, Black College the National page. Champs, and you only play three that's HBCU something teams? something that's not to be taken lightly. As that Ooh, was come on, because he was open. In today's world, with the transfer portal, you're always seeing roster turnover. Frankly, if you're successful. Great observation. You said the key word chemistry because you can have a lot of great players but don't have chemistry. It won't work. But just watching the defense. Look out. Look, look this is what I'm talking about. Look how many uh, look how mm. many guys to the ball. I was just about to give a compliment. <laughs> but look how many <laughs> come on. to the football. But they're still aggressive. They're still fighting captain or do some things great. And he has a chance to play in the NFL in the next couple of years. Here the handoff comes, and again, a bunch of blue jerseys in on it, but flags are coming out. Down and 18. Ooh, turn 18. For the Delta Devils. Williams back, and Mark. he is going to lose. Oh, with my helmet. First, they're going to say yes. Nope, another flag. Face mask, probably. Probably face mask. Tyler Moore. Freshman from Georgia. Oh, he's making sure everybody's in the right position and just mm. going methodically down the field. Here's Ellis. He'll hand it off to Evans. Evans pushing it forward a few yards before he is brought down. And we were talking about... When you have a situation <laughs> like that, you have an explosive place, it just opens it up for everything. Here's Ellis. He'll hand it off. And forward again. And you, you know what's so cool about the whole situation? There's a slew of running backs. I mean, you got Absolutely. Jordan Gagne because there's there's different guys that can run the inside zone better than the outside zone. So when you have a variety of backs, it just makes it special. We Open. just saw this play earlier Indeed. today. Johnson able to haul it in this time down to the 40-yard line before he's brought down. That it's man covers is eating him alive. Place. He just burned his guy and was able to... Pick up some yards. Yeah. Here's Hoth, the tight ends. Not Number 20 players. playing ball, though. I, hey, I like the cornerback group so in 20 and 19. Is trying to I ain't defense mad at him. About defense out and keep him off balance. I'm not mad at him at all. Gantz, as he sprints forward, has Number 20 in there again. Feet, and down to about the 25 yard line before he is corralled. He's a baller. Side zone because he gets to the second level and he's trying to run through your lips. That's what I love about him. First and ten from the Delta Devil twenty six. Mm, gotta get there quicker than that, big dog. Here from Ellis. Right there, he good. That's gonna be to Jalal Dean, who continues to have a first down. Just over six minutes to play here in quarter number three. Ellis, gonna have that one swatted away. I think the mentality because you got to go to North Dakota State next week, who are some straight up dogs. So be smart, run the ball. Uh, and stay in bounds and let the clock run. Mm -hmm. and that's what they do to Gant as he takes it. Okay. And he'll be brought down there by 
Chauncey Triplets, junior from back situation for the Tigers quarterback. He's back, has some time. Mm. And yeah, he just dropped it. Evans into and out of his hands. Let's see Evans frustrated with himself. Yeah. He had some daylight too. He has from their own 19 yard line, so a long field that they've got to go with. Shuttled over Ooh. and nothing going here, and that's gonna be he a loss. Fell. For DeFabian fans, last year had a couple hundred yards, almost three. But I want to talk about that defense once again. When we talk about setting the edge, they set the edge to where there's no way to run for the running back, and that's why, why the defense is playing so well. Okay. Now, Come on facing now. out is Sisk, hmm. and at about the 25-yard line, he'll be brought down. Yeah. Look, at, look at the coaches on the sideline in the fourth quarter. Let's see. Here's Sisk. He works it over to the right side. Hey, hey, hey where it hold on to it? Pass to Carrick Ross. We haven't said his name all day. That can catch the ball and have yak uh, yards after catch to, uh, to make some plays. I feel so you got to get him the football, but he's been very, very quiet today. Well, and off here, nice gain before being brought down. They yeah, want to get and, the game and, over. Let me clarify that. I know sometimes um, you know you, we, we, don't, we wonder why they're not catching the football. Valley State want to get the game over with. Football. Sisk barking out the plays. Mm, whoa. Game here of a couple of yards for Jacoby Thomas, the running back, 6'1, 240 pounds out of Kissimmee, Florida. First game of the season for both these teams. The boy George is big. Sisk has a bit of time, high throw there as he was looking. Y'all need high throws, Nelson. man. Yeah, we got a penalty to hit the quarterback low. Yeah, we always talk about, you know, a receiver being a technician and understanding how to burst off the cut and lie with your eyes. Mm, I mean, no he's sir. very, very, very good at what he does. Defensive line again swarming. You know, talking to Brandon Fisher, as a unit, sure, you don't want to lose Terrell out. That's, yeah. that's a huge issue. But as a unit, the defensive line has actually gotten better. Mm. Which tip of the cap to the to the to the coaching staff on that. They have, and you just keep saying that key word is unit. I mean, when you had Allen, good players in the making. Freshman. Oh, I need mean, throw the ball, baby. He go get hey, get, get throw. I like it. Get throw. He go. So Sisk able to complete that one to who else? But Nelson. Yeah. Here's Sisk. He has plenty of time. Your hands. And able to complete the pass. Hey, a of a low I like that they still Karen fighting, Ross, though. Who was able to I like that Valley State still fighting. I like it. Has. They've been enjoying they their quitting. themselves here this evening. You, be, you better believe Brandon Fisher wants to get a goose egg on this. Uh, that's probably what at this point, at yes. This, at, this point. at this point, you have the fourth quarter. You absolutely, I would assume. They want the goose egg. That's the backups get some experience because you might need them later on during the season. Mm. There's a big stuff and a stop. That's coming from Emmanuel Baez. Senior. Sisk has plenty Ooh, of time. I like and it, throw. I like it. Receiver. There you go. Pushing into the end zone. That's going to be a touchdown. There you go. For Carrick Ross. Yes, the sir. There you go. Team coming through for the Delta Devils and getting him on the board here in the full. Oh, he hurt his foot. He looks, he throws a little swing pass to him. He catches the football, and that's mm. all she rolls. We always talk about receivers having yards after catching. That's exactly what we saw. Mm. But I know one game that they're circling is Tennessee Tech because last year they embarrassed them on this field right here. I think mm -hmm. it was 35 to nothing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're looking at their chops on that's the game. That's game of the year. And that's game of the year. Mm. So they got to make plays. Speaking of making plays oh here my off God. the races is Karate Brinson. He's still on his feet before being pushed out of bounds after a huge pickup. Man, just a great job of Karate Benson. First and 10 from the Delta Devils 20. Mm, got the corner. Is going to be Rouse bouncing toward the outside, and he's into the end zone. Oh, it took two plays. Touchdown for the Tigers. Man, just a great job all the way around. I mean, we talk about the run. Oh, it took like two or three plays. Block. We talk about watch the run. I know we're talking about the run, but watch the block by the wide receiver on the perimeter. Yeah. Bam, there it is. There it is. Able to cut Rouse out. Yep. Able to 
I mean, I guess one thing you could look at is in the second half, we're all tied up at seven apiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but here's the thing about the whole situation is Ooh. they're protecting the football. I mean, if you look at them offense, you look at last year, I mean, they were throwing interceptions. So it'll be a first and 10 for the Delta Devils. And not much going here. You know, you take a look at the history of Mississippi mm. Valley State, Jerry Rice. They scored 21 points in this game, right? At five star. Go and train with Jerry Rice. Oh my gosh, you don't want to do that. Out in San good hands, boy, good, good hands, good catch, good throw. I like it. That there is complete to, not hoping that Jerry Rice would, would make his way here. And Jerry Rice has a jam-packed schedule, which you would imagine mm. a guy of his stature yeah. <laughs> would, regarded as one of the best, if not the best, receiver ever oh. to play the game. I'll never forget when we played the San Francisco. Yeah, as a receiver, I'm sure that's one of the guys that you really wanted yeah. to hone in on. And, and the one thing I learned about him, I know we're talking about the game, but Come on. the one thing I learned about Jerry Rice mm. is he made every route look the same. When I say every route mm. looked the same, he based every it's route off the line. The the what, I wonder was the what Valley State, pick. man. You know, I, I, I want to see Valley State ups the other upset somebody. Before him was here long Ooh. Is that complete? Yes, it is. Touchdown. I like it. And that's Ross again. We got another Ross. one. We got another one. I like it. At the one. Oh, direct snap. Trying to sneak his way okay. in the end zone and getting in there. Listen. If he take it, he, listen, Thomas. for what is worth, just, uh, you know, Valley State is winning the fourth quarter. 14-7. I mean, that's... Okay. That's something that can hand their head on so far. With the win, what? Yeah. Some things on the fourteen side. seven in the fourth. Yeah. I mean, you you have a lot of candy in the candy store. I mean, you got two running backs. You got Gant and Rouse, and you got receivers. You got Dean. You got Karate. They'll make it a little bit more respectable. Players out there, and I'll, I'll say that as a quarterback or a offensive coordinator, it's one guy to step up and really make an impact and make a be a force. And then, I, and, I, mm. and then here mm. is McGill <laughs> down to the 40, still on his feet, pushing down to the 30-yard line before he's tackled by a few of the Delta Devils. Yeah, I mean, it, it just shows you the slew of running backs. Deep three deep, said maybe linebacker's a spot they could yeah. use a little bit more depth. Yeah, but, but he said other than that, he's pretty pleased with what they have and the guys that they have at each of these yeah, spots. Yeah, quarterback wearing 21. As there you see a chunk of yardage picked up. They got a quarterback wearing 21. Is that what I'm saying right? Is that right? As sure Kevin is. Gander back. Now it looks like Carter is ready to go. 640 to play here in this one. Carter Come here. looking out to the short side. That's going to be mm. Rouse staying on his feet, still trying to get a few more yards out of it. Yeah, but in, in a smart thing that he did. I mean, I know. Stayed uh, in. Stayed in bounds. Come on, Coach. I love it, Coach. You got here this evening from 20 yards out at the other end mm. of the stadium. And this Field time goal. Hey, listen, Valley State up 14-10. 14-10 in the fourth. I like it. Dominating the Delta Devils, 41-40. Have a good chunk of time in this game. You know they, they kicking their ass. As here, he's under some pressure. Mm. Ooh. He's be brought down. That's a personal foul. Yeah, he hit him in That's the head. Tyler Moore, the freshman from Locust Grove, Georgia. He hit him in the head, but that's a personal foul. So you could be targeting. Why don't that hurt, boy? It's from you know, just kind of looking at the at the film right now. I mean, seventeen watch. bottom of your. Look at that number four is he pushing him back, but yes. Oh yeah, helmet. Oh yeah, helmet. Yeah, helmet. My goodness. Feet, and that's kind of what we saw on this position. Look at number seventeen. Watch. Number. Watch f look at number four though. Number four is every. huge as hell. Malicious. Number four is huge. Look at him. You see, right. you see what I'm saying? To, you, you can't lead with your head, and that's why they're trying to protect the, uh, the quarterback. Who come here? Well, they got to protect the quarterbacks. And just hey, number six, fast as, as hell. Even Who is that? Bias as well. Like, you, you got to learn. You can't do that. Number six is fast. You know, just protecting the person that has the football. It's protecting the guy that's initiating the attack. So, I think that's a great observation, and, and I'm glad that they come. Oh, go, boy. Got number, a new quarterback in the game? Sisk, and he's going to be brought down. Got a new quarterback in the game, okay. The running back, as we approach the four minute mark in this one. Oh! Space, Who's got it? Ooh. Devil's got it. Go recover. Where do we cover? Junior quarterback that, that's in. It's a big man. Yeah. 
huge guy. Huge. But so no wonder he's able to pounce on the ball and keep it. Hey. A massive <laughs> humanity just there to. Yeah, I'll tell you, man, this defense is flying around. I know they're 41 to 14, but they're acting they like are flying. zero. And that's the expectation of Brandon Fish. He said, I don't care what. That boy so is be a third huge down as 17. hell. Here for the Delta Devils. Lee has some time, not much. Now oh, go then. Oh, go then. Pocket is going to run toward midfield, and he's still going to okay. be shorts of a first down before he's brought down. Yeah, I want to compliment this secondary also. I mean, the reason why these quarterbacks are. Back here in. Oh! Oh! The end zone and gonna be caught. Oh, wait a minute. Quick strike there. Oh! <laughs> Hey, y'all should have threw to him more often. I'm telling you, he's fast as hell. But he just runs a seam route and runs underneath to catch the ball with his hand. Oh, oh my God. No, 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 no. Can we wind it? We, let's rewind that. No, no, rewind that back, please. We got to rewind that back. That was ridiculous. That was a hell of a catch. Y'all should have been throwing to him more often, bro. Hey, number six and number 13. Yeah, them the guys. Back here in that was Nashville, crazy. And that is going toward the end zone. That was caught. crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was wild. What's his name again? Nathan Rimbert. Rimbert. <laughs> yeah, but he just Nathan Rimbert is his name? Nathan Rimbert, number yeah. six. Okay, I, I, I got to look him up. That boy. There. Coaches are happy with it. And tonight have put together a pretty good body of work. Oh, we good here. We good. All right, man, listen, shout out to Tennessee State. Shout out to Valley State, man, listen. I got to check out the schedule. I got to see what winnable games Valley State does have this year. But Tennessee State, listen, it looked pretty good. Even though I'm not using this as a measuring stick of, of you know, of me seeing how good Tennessee State really is, but they're off to a good start. I like it. Shout out, listen, shout out to both of them. Um... I, I don't know who Valley State has, man, but I, I, I am going to be paying attention to both of them. Shout out to Coach George. Shout out to Coach Wade, man. Shout out to both of them.